Hey there everybody, High Mileage Rider here, and today we have another gear review for you. I'm going to be reviewing the Full Bore 98.6 Heated Jacket. If this is something that interests you, come on back. Okay, thanks for coming back. Now let's turn this camera around and show you our heated jacket. So, as I said, today we will be looking at the Full Bore 98.6 Heated Apparel Deluxe Motorcycle Heated Jacket Liner. They say it warms up in seconds has a micro alloy heating element and built-in temperature controller. I got this product at Argyle Motorsports. Uh, the regular price for it is $289.99 and I got it on sale for $220. This is a large size. Let's show you the back of the packaging. There we go. So they not only make heated jackets, they also make heated gloves. And with a Y splitter, you can also have heated pants and heated insoles. This is all 12 volt. It has three heat settings, low, medium, and high, warms up in seconds. It has self-contained pockets. It is water resistant. It has circuit protection. It's very lightweight. You can hand wash it. And it comes with the battery harness. And it also comes with a wireless remote control that you can put on your handlebars if you so choose. Now some of the accessories they make are a car adapter, a 12 volt plug, the Y splitter which you would need to go to uh, heated pants, a coax extension in case the uh, extension that comes with it is not long enough, and an SAE adapter in case you have other heated apparel which does not use a coax connector. So let's turn this over and let's open up the package. Okay, so we unzip the package and we will take out the jacket. Now inside the package you get an instruction manual. You also get the remote control which I will open in a second. Let's turn the camera around again and then we can show you the jacket on me. Alrighty. Alright, there we go. So, in this box comes the handlebar mount piece. Also, you get the remote control which runs off a 3 volt battery and it comes with one in it already. And you get a little screwdriver for attaching this onto here. Now, as for the jacket, the jacket I think is very nice quality. It has on the sleeve, as you can see, that it is a wearable heating tech component. It shows the 98.6 on the front. There's the back, and on the front, front bottom left is the control and the heating plug where it plugs in under your seat. So let's throw this jacket on so you can see what it looks like. Remember that you want this to be fairly um, form-fitting. You don't want any gaps for air. <laughs> So let's get this zipped up. We'll move our microphone. There we go. Okay. So, one of the nice things about this jacket is not only does it have heating fully in the arms, in the chest, and in the back. Oh, sorry, knocked my microphone off. It also has heating in the neck to keep you nice and warm. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I wore this the other day uh, riding to work and it was about five degrees out in the morning. I went out on the highway at about 100k an hour 
and I had this under my summer jacket with just a t-shirt underneath and I was really warm on the hottest setting so I had to turn it to the middle setting. Now let's turn the camera around and I'll show you what the plug-in looks like on the bike. Okay so I put this on my Super Tenere. My battery is in the front of the bike so I had to take this off. I ran the battery cable along here, attached it with some zip ties, put it under my seat across to the left side of the bike. So let's walk over here. And I have the plug come down here. And as you can see, this is a female end of a coaxial connection. And I have the male end of the coaxial connection. Let's get you in focus here. And all you do is put these two together. There, just like that. Now I will need the extension for mine so that I can stand up when I'm on the bike. So let me grab my keys for the bike and then we'll turn this on so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I have turned on the bike. We will now plug the gear together and you can see there's my controller. You press and hold. It goes on the highest setting. Press it again, it goes on the middle setting. Press it again, it goes on the lowest setting. Let's put it on the highest setting for just a minute. It only takes literally a minute or less for this to get really, really warm. And again, if you find that the heat is too high on the highest setting, you press it once to go to the middle setting. Once again, to go to the lowest setting. Remember, you do have the handlebar control you can use. I don't really have a use for it, so I'm happy to reach down and just press this on the bottom of the jacket. Now, let's disconnect myself, and I'll tell you about the jacket. So now, you may be asking yourself, look, I'm interested in heated gear, but why should I consider this jacket over many of the others? Of course, there is uh, Blackjack, there is Gerbing, there are lots of really good products out there. Um, one of the reasons I really like this is, first of all, it's almost impossible for me to get gerbing in Canada, in Edmonton, Alberta. I can't try the product on because nobody carries it. The only way to get it is to order it online and you can't try it on first. And when I talked to them, they said I could return it if it didn't fit. However, I would have to pay the shipping both ways. I wasn't willing to do that. The next thing is with heated gear, you know, if you crumple this up too much, and they do say when you store it, do not roll it or anything because you'll break the wires. If you have a problem, it's nice to be able to take it to a dealership where you can get one replaced or uh, contact the dealership and um, possibly have it fixed. I don't know if they do that. I think they've just replaced them personally. Um, again, I got mine from Argyle Motorsports, a uh, wonderful dealership there that I deal with. And the advantages I find for this one are the quality of the jacket. It feels really nice. Oh, sorry, I knocked my microphone off again. Let's try not to do that. Sorry about that. Uh, it feels really nice to the touch, to the skin. When you look at the cuffs and you look at the waistband, you look at the neckband, very high quality stitching, very comfortable, nothing rubs and causes abrasions on your skin. The other thing I really like about this is, again, the fact that it has a heated neck. Some of the other products out there do not have the heated neck. Really helps on a windy day if you don't wear a balaclava or something around your neck to keep you warm. It has a full line of accessories as do many of the other items. Uh, sorry, many of the other products out there. One of the things I really like about this one is the coaxial connection. I don't know if anybody out there is like me, but I'm new to plugging into a bike for heated gear. And when I got off the bike the first time, do you think I remembered to unplug it? Nope. Got off, started to walk away, and this coaxial connection just popped apart. My buddy has a set with the SAE connection. And let me just show you what the SAE looks like. SAE looks like this. It's very similar to what you see on battery tenders that you put on your bikes in the wintertime. That is not quite as forgiving a connection and you'll start to walk away and then it'll, the wire will pull on the jacket. And I suppose there's the possibility 
be it very small, that over time, if you do that a lot, it could potentially pull the wire on the jacket and maybe break a connection somewhere. So I like that this will come apart easily for me if I forget to unplug myself. The other thing for this was the cost. Uh, and I guess the biggest thing for me was supporting my local, deal local dealership. COVID's going on, products are hard to get. I think it's really important where you can to support your local dealership. Uh, you get that rapport in case you have any issues. And obviously, if they don't carry a product that you need, you may have to order it online. So I've only done one ride in this jacket so far, and I found it to be absolutely wonderful. I'm going to be taking it out tomorrow and doing about a four and a half to five hour ride. I'll use the jacket in the morning because we're leaving at 7 a.m. and it'll be single digits to start the day. Uh, in further videos, I will let you know how this holds up long term. Um, again, I did purchase this for myself. And I, uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, using it in this, mostly in the spring and in the fall when we're again single digits in the morning or single digits in the evening when you are coming back from your rides. One thing I did forget to mention is you, to plug in your heated gloves if you choose to purchase them. There is a zipper on each sleeve and you simply undo the zipper pull out the wire and it would plug into your heated glove so again I think this is going to be a really good product I think the price point is very good the quality looks very good the heating is definitely exceptional easy install on your bike took me about 10 minutes um, so yeah I'll give it a thumbs up for now we'll do the long-term review and I'll let you know now as always we'll see you on the next video remember Keep that right hand cranked and the rubber side down.